what's up what's up guys this is your boy Okwintini welcome to my youtube channel again yes your number one annoying boy who travels and cook to promote his continent today you are preparing kontome stew with egusi nigerian says egusi we say agushi to prepare in kontome stews you need the following ingredient cocoa yam leaf which is the green leaf i'll use tomatoes i'll use onion grinded onion and garlic tomato paste and agushi powder i'll chop my tomatoes and my onion this is my agushi powder this is my grinded onion with garlic and this is my hot powdered pepper this is my incontumery cocoa yam leaf very healthy yes to start with i will put my saucepan on fire and pour half liter of water in it and put my incontumery in it for it to cook for the next three to four minutes incontumery must be cooked well or else you have an itching throat whilst you eating it please if today is your first time of watching my video please like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and leave your comments in the comment section what you feel about this cooking you let me know so after a few minutes this is how our incontumery looks like so greenish incontumery can be served with many other foods so I have drained the water out of my incontumery. To prepare my incontumery sauce, I'll put a, a saucepan on the fire and put my red oil in it and let it boil. Then I'll pour my chopped onion in the oil. I'll let my onion be on the fire for one minute. Then I'll add my hot powdered pepper. You can add any hot pepper you want. Or you have available to make your food spicy in africa most of our foods are very spicy yes yeah, so this is my hot powdered pepper you know we eat healthy very nice food guys this is so easy to prepare you can prepare it as lunch so at this point i'm adding my blended or my grinded garlic with onion you can serve it at lunch with rice boiled yam boiled plantain or any other dish you want i'm about to add my tomato paste and i'll let it be on the fire for the next two minutes so it cook well after two minutes I'll add my chopped tomatoes to it. Yes, I can feel the aroma. I wish guys you are here whilst I'm preparing it. You can try it at home. It's so simple. So now I'm adding my chopped tomatoes and I'll let it be on the fire for a minute. I'll stay gently and let my stew simmer. This is how it looks like. This is a whole sauce, a whole delicious sauce on its own that can be served with any other meal. Now I'm adding my agushi. I'll drop them slowly on the surface of the sauce for it to clot like egg does. But remember I mix my agushi with water. Water. Just some few water and I mix it with my hand. Yes. I have this egg. I'm a vegetarian so I need to have some protein. I'm pouring it on the surface of the agushi and let's see the outcome guys so this is how my agushi sauce looks like without adding the incontumery yet like i said it's a whole delicious sauce right now at this point on its own i'm promoting my continent mama africa yes i'm adding a little bit of salt to my taste yes if you love this process please leave your comment in the comment box now i'm adding my cooked in contemporary finally at this point you can tell the food is almost done it's ready now this is how my agushi in contemporary and agushi stew looks like hmm so delicious the aroma wow 
I wish you can feel it through the screen right now watching it. So beautiful. You can serve this with some yam at lunch, dinner. You can serve it with plain rice at dinner or lunch. So beautiful.